We've got a battle ahead of us! Ah! Oh, dude, the lurker's literally taking damage. Oh my god, there's a bunch of them! I've never seen this many lurkers in my life! Yo, the screen's shaking, right? The big one's here! What the heck is going on? And without further ado, it is time for us to enter a brave new world. Episode last night on Earth, and today, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we are returning to what arguably might be the single most exciting episode of this brand spanking new season that we are in. Because today, ladies and gentlemen, not only do we have in store for you some of these super uber duper limited edition fifth anniversary packs to celebrate the fifth anniversary, then we're gonna be popping open and claiming our hands on this awesome new backpack over here. This is just the cherry on top, all right? Guess what? I haven't even given you the whipped cream, I haven't given you the milkshake. You know what? That's gonna be that is gonna be the fact that today well today is going to be the day that we complete the crossways events we finish the final chapter so not only will we will we be getting some closure on everything that's been going on throughout the season whatever that's going on with that armored bus and all that jazz and these cultists but on top of it we're doing it with the most interesting faction and arguably the most powerful of them all because don't get me wrong man the raiders are annoying but they're decently powerful the bikers are decently powerful powerful but genesis literally has access to armor piercing weapons types of armor that we can't even craft or find in the game yet genesis literally i mean they used to control the laboratory for pete's sake they're the closest thing to an actual military faction that we have in the game and we're gonna be working for them today in today's episode so hopefully y'all are excited without further ado let's see what uh, let's see what the chapter has to say let's see what the errand is and let's get hyped for what's in store for today if y'all are excited please be sure to hit that like button don't forget to be subscribed and hit that notification bell for all the further goodness of last day on earth and all the new updates and all that jazz that are going to be coming but without further and hopefully like i'm saying dude not just that we're going to get some closure i think today we're also going to get a like bit of a cliffhanger into what might be coming in the next season because last day on earth likes its cliffhangers so we'll see how this unfolds but <clears throat> scientists from genesis detect increased zombie activity in the fest area and at the pass the mythical threat predicted by cultists has become a reality in a matter of days are the factions ready to team up and confront yo it's like an adventures movie man we're teaming up what's the errand we got genesis has provided their best staff and a scent dog to find a connection between the events in the placid cavern and the rumors about a new kind of zombie at the pass is the threat cultists are talking about real <gasps> could this finally be the way that we get into that freaking basement over at the pass or whatever might be i don't know we'll see let's take the quest let's see what's up and while we're at it i mean i'll go ahead and like you know i'll claim some of these tasks too. I gotta destroy some sort of a voodoo doll. As I call this using a doll of shakes in their rituals, you better get rid of it just in case. Goodness gracious. So I imagine that'll be over at the Plastic Cavern. So we got a whole ton of adventure coming in lads and lassies away. But first, before we get to the adventure, Let's get to the opening. So, long story short, if we're feeling lucky with these fifth anniversary packs, I am going to literally be able to swim in carbon composite. I could go into the bathroom and use carbon composite as freaking toilet paper if we're lucky, because 50 carbon composites are an extremely rare possibility. We get a guaranteed full set of Kevlar, guaranteed Milkor, and of course, we get the witch's little miniaturized backpack, which uh, is freaking adorable, and I would go ahead and equip for y'all to show off. So without further ado, Show me a little bit of good luck. Oh, we also get some guaranteed pistols and rations, which is always nifty too. But uh, let's continue the opening spree and please, baby, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy. I know what I'm going to be getting. There's only one thing that is up to chance in this entire thing. And that thing is surrounded in a little purple box. So please, for the love of everything, let me be feeling lucky. Ah, come on, man. At least one. You can't, you can't show me 50 carbon composites and not give it to me at least once. This is our final shot, please, baby, for the love of everything. Can I get a little bit of luck can i find a horseshoe or a four-leaf clover or something like that big money no way big money no way big money no way big money no way big money no 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 thing no nothing nothing at all that's what we got all right whatever let's go on in some adventures all right and let those games begin with none other than the fact that we got a new backpack it honestly kind of matches the color scheme it's, it's kind of the same aesthetic or whatnot that we are rocking we got we got matching hair what more could you ask for let's go and save it and we got freaking uh uh we got we got hexy over here is her name on our back and ready to play i'm a neighbor caroline caroline the freaking witch all right the witch of 
officially has a name. All right, her name is Caroline. Caroline's joining us on her adventures. Unfortunately, Travis, he's napping or, I don't know, taking care of the base because honestly, dude, Travis, he, 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 he keeps this joint running, man. He keeps everything in order. If it wasn't for Travis, I'm pretty sure my base would have been raided by now, but that magnificent turtle, I'm telling you, man, He's got superpowers. I mean, he talks first off. Let's never forget about that. But like, literally, he, like, I, I, I don't know, man. He's been protecting my base pretty well lately. You know, I, 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 I think he's kind of like my guardian angel, my guardian turtle angel in a sense. But talkie talkie artichokey. Over to the past we go, and already I can tell you the name of this quest alone has piqued my interest. The name of this quest is literally called Aliens. Are aliens about to be showing up in Last Day on Earth? I have no idea, but what the heck? This is not the turn I was expecting. We've had some funky quest names so far, I tell you what, but aliens was not one. Oh, speaking of which, you know what else just begun, by the way, that y'all will definitely want to be taking advantage of if uh, if and when uh, possible? There's a little bit of a weekend rush event going on, lads and lassies, and you are definitely going to be wanting knowing about uh, this. Uh, if we go over to none other than the calendar, the Bravo weekend rush is on. If you've ever wanted to do Bravo, this is the time to do it. Zombies health is reduced by 50%. You take half as much radiation, which means that you'll have twice as much time per floor before things start to hit the fan because Bunker Bravo is a glorified speed run and M16s do 50% more damage, making them honestly a glorified killing machine over in Bunker Bravo. If you guys want to see this uh, actually done, we're going to be doing a Bunker Bravo run. None other than over on Twitch.tv slash Starslide where we are live every single Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Link in the top of the description and in the pinned comment. Be sure I'll go ahead and pop it over there. Hit that follow button. If you guys don't know what time that stream starts in your local time zone, twitch.tv slash starsite will be able to go ahead and help you out. Once you know what time it starts in your local time zone, it's super easy. That's the same time that we are starting every single freaking week. So hopefully I see y'all uh, over there. We're going to be doing some more season 23 shenanigans. And of course, we're going to be knocking out the weekend rush Bravo. So if y'all want to see this done in the most expert way possible, be sure to go ahead and pop it over there. We're always having a fun time every single freaking week. Not to mention, we got the face cam on. We got the live chat rolling so y'all can literally participate in the chat, in the stream as it's going on, making for such an awesome time. So hopefully I do see all folks over there. That's going to be going on later today. Your targets are to the west of here. Just lock on to the open fire shirt thing. Before we go in, let, let, let's blow up some turkeys, baby. How about that? But yeah, so that'll be going on a little bit later today. So hopefully I do see all folks over there. It will be an absolute blast. See what I did there? But um, what can I say? I'm a punny guy. And those turkeys are dead turkeys. Did I actually kill all of them? Dude, I've actually never done that. I'm kind of impressed. Hot smells like chicken. I just need to retrieve the prey. How is that not to be my problem? I don't know. But yeah, looking forward to seeing all folks over there. Hopefully, I'll be able to help you all out with how to do this Bunker Bravo run because it truly is like, for the love of everything, you guys want to do this Bunker Bravo run. This is the time, if ever you wanted to think about doing Bunker Bravo, this is the most glorious time ever because like not, not just does the m16 do 50 percent more damage the m16 is arguably the best weapon or the easiest weapon to get upgraded to the best because th this what i have right here is arguably the best m16 in the game it has three common mods you cannot say that about any other weapon in the game the m16 is so goaded for that fact so the fact that it's now even more powerful in bunker bravo is just like i don't know y'all see what i'm talking about over at the stream looking forward to seeing all folks over there you're sent by genesis right max and i are gonna need your help just take us to the bus sure thing oh hold up i gotta protect this guy which one's Max? Who the heck's Max? Is that the guy with the hammer? No, I don't think so. I would have died without you. Come over, I'll give you something. All right, he'll give us something. I gotta escort this guy to the bus. Uh, Max is over here digging up freaking cars. I'm over here claiming this because we should be able to get a badge and a few other nifty little things up in there. Don't diddly mind if I diddly do. I'll be taking that. And uh, yo, who? Oh, oh, he just, oh, you know what just happened? Oh, I think I know what just happened. Our buddy's already run off to the watchtower prepared to offer fire support. So that should be good. If we bring people over to one of this watchtowers, someone saw an unusual zombie here recently. Max needs to get the sense. Go, bud. Oh, go, Max. Go, my boy. Sniff him out. Who the heck? This is a big zombie. Hello, Raging Muncher. How you doing? You look like the rock. Sha, 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 sha. I've been seeing quite a little bit, dude. That is so adorable watching him go around. And yo, yo, Mr. Watchtower Man. Where the heck is the help? It really is an unusual zombie, judging from the footprints. He moves on all fours. Yo, is this just the lurker again? I've already killed this guy the last time around. What do you mean? He was already around. Dude, we better be able to get in that basement, by the way. I really want to see what the heck is going to be going on in there. We got a raging monster over there, but I have to warn you, it's very dangerous. Uh, that guy, I mean, we've done that before. We already know what that's all about. Yellow zombies. How you doing? I mean, I really don't need to be using the freaking mini Uzi. It's a little bit overkill. Why don't we just go ahead and bring out the machete? I mean, we got Lexi helping out too. There's someone else's footprints. The same time frame. Looks like an average build man. All right. There's only like four footprints. Did he start levitating after that? This, that, that has to be aliens, man. They're levitating and stuff. I'm thirsty. I'll take care of that in a second. All right. And that second will be right now. There you go. More footprints. That's where a hero got caught. Was he eaten? 
I mean, he does have a blood trail heading inside, so I feel like I did the dog sticking its head through the door, too. I feel like whatever he wants is going to be on the other side of this. Oh, I actually already see him lurking through the window. I hope you all are prepared. We've got a battle ahead of us. Ah! Oh, dude, the lurker is literally taking damage. Oh, my God, there's a bunch of them. I've never seen this many lurkers in my life. What the heck's going on? There's like three of them. And I think there might be another one lurking over there to the right, too. What the heck is happening? Why are there this many? I thought the lurker is supposed to be like a one-off like mini boss. I've never seen that many. There's no body. He must have been eaten by those things. Just like I said, good job, Max. Oh, look at him rolling around. Can I give you the belly rub? I want to give you the belly rub. You are such a... Oh, he ran off already. Well, that's all right. They marked the territory, so all their buddies are coming here. Uh, there's more of them? Dude, when did the lurkers become so commonplace? Their numbers are increasing. We should tell our people that the fest is getting hotter and hotter. Can you warn them? Yeah, sure thing. Dude, why why are they so interested with this particular... Let's go, dude! This is a... This is a... Oh, my goodness gracious. Y'all need to do this quest. This is literally one of the best opportunities imaginable to get your hands on some big bones, which are some... Which make for literally some of the best... Uh, what we call Like, look at the bone handle over here, arguably. The bones make some of the best melee weapon mods in the game. Y'all want to capitalize on this? What's up, sir? Uh, I just got to go to the ceasefire fest. All right. I will do that ingested i mean i i i'm gonna help these guys out a little bit you know uh julie told me about you come over here i got a job for you i'm gonna help you out a little bit all right before things get uh too out of hand here there's gonna be like a lot of parasites running up around here lexi why are you just standing there lexi are you not me por favor where is the help for lexi now lexi okay holy goodness gracious there are so many parasites i do not want them to explode because that would kill some of these people and i need them alive because i need those turkeys that's lexi's dog food all right because you know me man me i only feed lexi the organic stuff bro i'm shopping at whole foods for lexi dog all right she is being spoiled ain't there but you adorable little pup get over here let me boop the snoot oh hold up nope that was I, I gotta i gotta position this more correctly boop the snoot boop. oh my god dude there's a reason they call me star snipe that's sniper accuracy right there i booped the snoot on my first try here's that chair if you ever need help i'm at your service Woo! he'll be able to help us out a little bit later uh claim an airdrop and by a little bit later honestly you should go out and just help us out right now while we're over here because i'm not sure if we're i mean the, the next quest has to bring us back here dude like we we still need to figure out like what, what the heck's going on like what the heck's going on down there man i don't know we'll see We'll see. Uh, did you drop anything interesting over here? No, you did not. All right. Well, why don't we go ahead and pop on up top side? We got to fend off a few cultists from these dudes. That's all right. We just want to make sure. Honestly, most important, we just got to make sure the guy with the python lives. Because he's the guy that ends up uh, actually helping us out and stuff. So I'm just going to be a, a conveniently placed distraction. These guys have literal bows and arrows. I am not scared of you. And bada big bada boom, Mr. Worldwide, when I step in the room, we are good to go. We got a little reward from him. I'm opening up the chest and the guy with the Colts already going over to help us out. Because now we are going to be doing the thing that gets us the... And I also still got to kill like one more raging muncher over here. So excuse moi. He is going to be like right over here, dude. What's up? It literally looks straight up like the Raka Sha 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 of legend yo i gotta make sure that he doesn't like accidentally damage our buddy over there my face have been itching like that for a while you're well, why didn't you help me then i was just in the middle of fighting someone bro you easily could have you know itched the itch so to speak but all right we've got everybody here ready and rearing to help we got two of the watchtowers man still have no idea why this third watchtower is here because this guy's got a melee weapon and last i checked you, 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 you ain't throwing the sledgehammer all right because that'd be a one-time use type of deal but uh nux let the games begin beautiful and he will be doing his thing and i will be trying to protect him whilst he does his thing and by me i mean i'm gonna do the like minimum amount required that hopefully will make everybody die without me having to do too much and the good news is is that as long as there's no zombies like specifically targeting our boy I mean, they are going to fold like a paper, all right? You know, their money don't jiggle jiggle. It folds, all right? Because they folded like a folding chair, baby. Take them down. All right, hold up, except for this guy. Protect him. Yeah, we just got to make sure any zombies that run directly at our homeboy are uh, dispatched absolutely immediately. Like uh, this guy. Yo, 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 yo. Back it up, broski. Back it up. All right, I'm the security for this party. Yeah, I opened it. The treasure is ours. Go ahead and take your shit. Uh, thank you very kindly. Uh, still. Oh, let's go. We got a carbon composite out of it this time. That is literally the best thing I've ever gotten. Let's go, dude. The, honestly, the loot of this has been kind of lackluster besides like all the badges and stuff that we get. But I will take the carbon and composite. I'm about 49 short from all the carbon and composites I could have got earlier. Berry tea, uh, two, I spit on you. And two, want none of that nonsense. I'll go ahead and drink a little bit of a brewski. And uh, you know what? Thank you for all your help. Uh, a lot, a lot, I listen. 
listen, it looks like a urinal. I gotta spread a little bit of vitamin P in a civilized fashion, all right? I ain't grabbing none, like, I don't know. Maybe I'll come back for the rest of the loot. You know, maybe uh, it'll be a little bit moist, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out a little bit later. Thank you for the assistance, friends. Uh, I gotta go and investigate this alien invasion that we are supposedly dealing with. All right, and that involves going over to the ceasefire fest. Let's go ahead and do exactly that. Pop on in there, hey, pop in, and let's go and see what is inside. Is it, like, is it said go to the ceasefire fest? I wonder if we're actually gonna talk with someone or if we're just gonna go and turn this quest into the billboard. I kind of hope we talk to someone and this quest isn't over because like, there's only one quest after this. We have to be close to the conclusion of this entire Crossways event. Oh, we gotta speak to the faction leaders. Yo, okay, 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 that's what I'm talking about. We ain't done yet, son. We gotta talk to all the leaders over here, I believe. The last thing I wanted was for the fest to end in a battle with some lopsided things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, this is interesting. We actually get to talk with these dudes. You have my guy with you. Talk to the raiders. The one thing I want even less than the battle now is listening to those morons. Is that the leader of Genesis? It's gotta be. That's Genesis, that's bikers, that's raiders. Come on. It might be regular zombies, just, well, ugly. Aren't they all ugly? <laughs> I think they are. I don't think they're alien zombies, man, because they've been in basements and stuff. But fine, since we're all in this together now, we won't bail either. Don't worry, you can have our best guy, so be it. Our best guy, singular? You're sending me one person? The last thing we needed was some sort of a zomboid invasion and you're like a harbinger of, a harbinger of the apocalypse. No offense. Yeah, I'd usually good news does not follow me. All right, all right, guess who offered to help? You know her. Yo, it's our gal from week one. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go and see exactly what this will culminate within. Because by the looks of it, we gotta check the Aaron board, turn this in, and probably commence in some sort of epic final battle. Let's claim the rewards, and it's time for the finale. The fears were confirmed. A phenomenally numerous horde is heading towards the fest. The collective effort of all factions is necessary to fend it off. However, their leaders don't seem to have found common ground. The faction leaders have provided a protector from each faction to stop zombie hordes flocking to the fest from all corners of the wastelands. Is it possible cultists were right about today being our last day on Earth? Well, we're definitely playing last day on Earth, so uh, YOLO, let's see how it goes. We gotta go back to the past location in the name of the quest, A Brave New World. Dude, that, that, that type of quest name makes me think that things are not gonna be the same after we finish this quest, dude. I, like, there's so, there's so much foreboding. It just makes me think that something about this quest is gonna alter the course of last day on Earth history for like ever. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too big picture. Let me know what y'all think in that comment section down below. What y'all have thought of this season. What y'all are about to think of this uh, final battle. Would absolutely love to hear y'all's thoughts on this because dude, I'm saying, man, like we still got soul. Like we still got to find out what the heck that secret hatch goes to with the deal with the armored buses. There's so many loose ends, man. I feel like this is going to be, there, there's more to come, man. I feel like there's more to come. That's got to be excited because I like more. I like new things. I like showing it off for all you lads and lassies. So, <clears throat> Meet the protectors by the towers. Oh, could the third tower finally be manned by someone without uh, a melee weapon? That'd be pretty cool. Cause they usually just have melee weapons. Uh, and since we're gonna be getting attacked by a lot of people, I'm gonna bring out the shotgun to play. I feel like that's gonna be a safe move. Yo, yo, what's up? They have more melee weapons than usual. Yeah, guys, look over my back, won't you guys? Hello? Oh, I'm glad you're here. I have a quest. Can you watch Romero? Sure, which guy's Romero again, man? I've already forgotten. Yeah, now's a bad time to have a crush. Oh, the biker guy. And on who? A biker? If anyone told me about to go out and spit in their face, we still see a little bit of the tensions for the factions. Dude, hold up. We have everybody helping us. Oh. Oh, dude. We are literally commanding an army of... We're literally commanding an army right now. All right, do I have to talk to Nux about this? I'll pick the lock and you stay on watch. What you say? Partners, this task is not for lone wolves. I mean, it just says fend off hordes of zombies and, well, do I, do I have to talk to someone here? Should they just start appearing? Do I, do I have to talk with Nux again? YOLO, man. Let's see what Nux has got to say. Oh, okay, well the zombies are coming in. And guess what, baby? We've got all the support in the freaking world. I'm gonna, I gotta make sure that Nux doesn't die. I feel like that'd be a bad idea, but dude, this is awesome. I don't have to do anything. I have an army to do my bidding. Just gotta make sure, I feel like I gotta make sure this last guy doesn't die. That feels like it'd be bad news bears. Is this what we were supposed to do? Were we supposed to resummon this wave? I feel like maybe because there's a lot of people freaking swarming that our minions are tending to. Is that it? 
Are we done? Yo, the screen's shaking. Why? The big one's here. What the heck is going on? Joseph, Joseph, I found the code. I found the code in the basement. Joseph, that man just died. He knew the code. Are you kidding me? Die, big one. What the heck happened to you? A piece of paper rippled in half is clearly distinguishable figures on it. 2505. Do you have anything, Joseph? A piece of paper ripped in half is clearly distinguishable figures on it. 2017. Open the basement, dude. What the heck happened to the big one? Why is he charred like a smoked meat dude? He's looking like a pastrami that's been in the smoker for like uh, 12 hours, brother. You know, and I'm kind of, I, I, I'm kind of accidentally started talking about food. I'm getting a little bit hungry, so this is kind of bad. And the, I, I'm not a cannibal, I promise. But dude, what the heck is the deal with you and Lexi? Why are you sitting inside of it, man? That's kind of weird. Lexi's a hardcore pup like that. But ladies and gentlemen, the perimeter is secured. The house is locked down, as you can see. And without further ado, it is time for us to enter a brave new world. At least that's the name of the quest, so I don't know. I feel like that's going to be it. You know, search the basement. Don't mind if I do. Dude, the basement that's been teasing us for weeks, we finally get entry into? What the heck's going to be in here, dude? Like, I, I don't know if I'm, I should be expecting enemies, new friends, or like loot, or all three. I could definitely see all three. Uh, yo, hello, sir. That chest looks magnificent. What is this paper over here? AST9 recommendations. One, try to adhere to the speed limit whenever possible throughout your route down to the specified coordinates. Do not touch the prototype while the vehicle is moving. Do not take off the headphones throughout the entire route. Hold up. So is there? Oh my God. There might actually be a doomsday weapon. The cultists might have been wrong with their zip gun nonsense that I still cannot get over. Okay, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm still so angry about that. But yo. Dude. Something, something crazy has got to be in there. I, I don't know what the heck it's going to be, but something's got to be in there. What the heck's over here? I've explored similar basements, but none like this. Hold up really quickly. If I bring this fast biter back here, will you guys help me out? You guys are not interested in a darn tootin' thing. Neither is Lexi, bro. Lexi, you, you, you're you on my team, too. You can help me. <laughs> Dude. All right. Well, there's definitely enemies here. I feel like there's going to be loot from what that chest has in store for us. And I guess technically there are friendly people. You know, those NPCs. Yo, a new compartment. Hello. And what do we have? What are you protecting over here, Mr. Fastbiter? More notes, I hope. Warning. The prototype of the autonomous signal transmitter is intended for experimental launches only. Do not try to use it in the field. It may cause an uncontrollable influx of the infected of types D2 and D3. Interesting. So hold up. What I think whatever the heck is in that chest literally summons and draws zombies towards you. Dude, what the heck? I mean, that's definitely a doomsday weapon. Who the- okay, well, who the heck sent this weapon? Because it, it doesn't seem like it was Genesis, the Raiders, or the Bikers. Could this be, like, the military or some sort of, like, top-secret government project? Because someone had to have created this thing, and Genesis- I don't know, man. I also feel like Genesis might be behind this, and they're just, like, playing dumb. Because, like, from our encounters with them in prior seasons, man, they're like that. Technical passport. Gordon S. Horsepower 227. Transmission gearbox manual. Drive all wheel. Weight 4.2 tons. Load capacity 5 tons. Machine gun 762. Driver mad. Supervisor Joseph. Point of departure New Eden. It came from New Eden, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Dude, whatever the heck the next update is, I'm telling you, we are fine. We, we are going to New Eden, man. I am convinced we are going to New Eden, and there are so many hints in the past of New Eden being a Bunker Charlie that we have broken down a ton of times. I don't know how the bus would have got here from Bunker Charlie, though. But, oh, did New Eden, man. And also, Mads was the driver and Joseph the supervisor. Which one was Mads again? We, we encountered Mads before, and Joseph. Wasn't Joseph the cult guy that got, like, banished, and Mads was like... I'm drawing a blank on Mads, dude. I don't know. But interesting. Speak to the protectors in the basement. Actually, is that all three of these dudes? Hold up. Yeah, I got some questions for y'all. I gather this is the crate, and that's the reason a horde of those things we saw can come here at any moment. It's gotta be. I don't think we should put the fate of that crate in the faction leader's hands. They'll never compromise with each other. See, they know what's up. I think the best thing we can do is take it from where it came from. The bus is not far from here. 
So we're taking it to the bus? I don't even get to open it? Hold up. Ho, ho, hold the phone. That's it? Or is there gonna be a little bit more they're gonna tell us back at Ceasefire Fest? Cause I, there better be a little bit more than that. That's all I'm saying, man. But I called it the tease at the end of this. Oh, what the heck? We got more people? They are storming inside? Oh, those are the same people. They, they're just like running from over there. Okay, interesting. So yeah, this bus actually came from New Eden. New Eden. Mad Mads. Wasn't Mad Mads the crazy guy who was wandering around? Yeah. Mad Mads and Joseph were the ones that delivered it. So, that's interesting, because back in a prior season, if he, I think Joseph, wasn't he the guy who, like, ran the whole cult camp or something, if I remember correctly? I can't recall off the top of my head. But I, he, he was definitely a part of the cultists. And th does that mean that the cultists know about New Eden and know that it exists? Because back in the prior village season, some of the cultists actually tried escaping to New Eden via a boat on the southern shore, which makes it seem like you would have to go to freaking Bunker Charlie and it would make sense that Bunker Charlie would have like high-tech experimental stuff going on over there because, I mean, it's got the green icon. It's like the one bunker that technically speaking could still be populated because every other bunker is red and everything there tries to kill us. So here it might actually be friendly. New Eden seems like a friendly place with like, I don't know, they're on an island. Might be harder for zombies to get there. Maybe they wanted to bring that here to draw zombies away from Bunker Charlie. Dude, that'd be a crazy plot twist if New Eden is actively trying to draw zombies away from them and maybe that's what that device was for so zombies would never try to like go to the island or something there's some interesting plot twists to be had here but the fact that that came from new eden is just like the craziest of them all let me know what y'all think in the comment section about that because that is going like i don't know man the repercussions of the end of the season are actually insane and again, dude, in a prior season, the cultists literally tried to stop like people from going to New Eden. And if some of the cultists were helping deliver this in the first place, then what if there's like multiple like levels of cult or like multiple cult factions, some that have escaped and some that are like, I don't know, man. I don't know. We were so caught up in competing that we missed the real threat. Yeah, who the heck was the real threat? New Eden? I don't care what anybody thinks. Romero and Julie saved us all today. Yeah, they did. Great people. Great peeps. Fantastic peeps. You do realize they're outcasts now. They will never be able to come back here. Ah, oh, man. Really? Well, that's interesting. So hold up. Oh, because, yeah, all the people in that basement technically went against what their factions wished to do, if you think about it. Which is interesting, because here the Genesis guys are kind of saying, like, this, this leader's kind of agreeing with it. He's like, dude, I'm happy that this like didn't get back to the leaders. Like he kind of seems to have a big brain about things. He's kind of like, I'm happy that this didn't go back to the leaders. They wouldn't be able to handle it. So I wonder what the other leaders are gonna have to say. Where the heck are the other leaders, by the way? Yo, what's up Raider, man? We almost won and he decided to drive off with that rosy cheeked wench on our bus. Yeah. Yeah, he's a little bit upset, kind of figured. That's all he had to say? Hmm. That's so interesting. So it seems like Genesis is really the only one that kind of understands the big picture here because everyone else is just kind of big mad and salty and stuff. I told you we can't trust her. She got involved with that fuck Romero. What kind of a name is that? It's a nice name. Come on now. She made the right call. There's no good place for traitors in our brotherhood. Good riddance, Julie. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess there we have it. They've been outcast, kicked out by their own kind and there we have the conclusion or do we oh no we gotta claim the rewards and then we gotta claim some more the horde occurred to be attracted by a special device which mads and joseph brought and hid in the basement their purposes remain unknown to me romero and julie decided to take that device back having stolen the bus for that oh take the device back so are they are they going to new eden could this not be, could this maybe be not the last we've heard of Romero and Julie? Kind of look like that might be the case, but ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The conclusion of all three chapters of the Crossway event and arguably some major story development and continuation 
on prior seasons if you guys haven't seen prior seasons i got a whole playlist of last day on earth you can go through got one for every single season so feel free to go back try to catch up on some of the story elements because uh, there uh, there are story elements here and there and like i'm saying dude especially the cult season the first time the cult slash village season came around i feel like this ties in a lot with that but that's interesting so they may have gone back i still can't get over the fact that like this guy's big brain he knows what's going on the genesis guys man i'm telling you they really are like the superior of the three factions which makes me like i don't know they understand the repercussions like genesis kind of like i kind of like them the most they kind of seem like the good guys the raiders and bikers are kind of like self-serving but like genesis kind of seems like they, they kind of seems like they're out for the greater good which is kind of actually a cool thing to notice so i don't know we'll see exactly how all that goes let's go and turn in some of these things we have collected though rat get our hands on a little bit of goodies uh we also got some of the stuff from the workbench so we can turn in let's go ahead and pop open some of these there hey pop it and let's see what we can get hopefully the, the worst thing of them all give me the threads man i need a lot more of the ball bearings brother i don't need a bear balls there we go and we got some uh, durable threads which is lovely i'm gonna save these just because like the when the rewards refresh this gets redone so and actually yolo man i'm just gonna keep on opening things because i did want to get my hands on a little bit of lead and we can also go ahead and get a pistol right over there and then we should be able to open up another set of these uh collect our hands on uh some gun oil titanium parts and some more durable threads which is gonna be super uber duper nice because durable threads again we are now officially over halfway there to getting our hands on the cool like our arguably one of the coolest prizes like this, this was a really cool season man i wish the loot and rewards were a bit better although tbh you do get some pretty good like loot and rewards from opening up this stuff right let's go and we got some more durable threads uh but i love the uniqueness of like outfits being added with perks i think that's gonna have some really cool repercussions in the future hopefully they're a little bit easier to get in the future because 35 to get this is kind of extreme i'm not gonna lie but also the story finally advancing a little bit new content like I don't know, man. I definitely had a good time with this season and kind of like the main event of the season. And I am so intrigued, freaking fascinated by how things are going to unfold. Because like, I don't, dude, like, I'm telling you, man, we are getting more direct references. Like, this is the most direct references to New Eden we had. Like, in prior seasons, it has been more like kind of like, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know how to describe it like it hasn't been as direct new eden's been kind of like little like little side stuff that's been like mentioned you know in passing by some characters by some npcs by some survivors this is like the first time new eden's kind of been the center of the season and the fact that that armored bus you know was supposedly taken back i wonder if we go back there if the armored bus is going to be gone Ooh, i'll check on that after we go ahead and clear out the plastic cavern so dude i don't know the possibilities are like truly kind of crazy and like i don't want to say endless but there's they the, the, they end somewhere but they end very far out dude the possibilities that stem from what have occurred in this season are actually bonkers and the whole fact that like we can like i, I don't know man new eden continues uh, to be teased we've still gotten even in the past some teasers on new locations that haven't even been revealed yet so honestly what it kind of seems like to me is that, like last day on earth might actually kind of have a pipeline of content kind of ready to go so i think that like i, I, I don't know man because like if you guys recall we slab that like generator that was teased we slab like the whole kind of like river camp that was teased in some prior stuff i'm gonna strip naked for this because this guy does like no damage whatsoever so i'm like not scared of him but, like yeah we slab a few different in-game like things teased that we haven't even appeared yet so like i think there's even more content ready to go in the near future to me it kind of seems like last day on earth may have kind of like built up a backlog of content that it is ready to unfold and i think this season man and the events that have unfolded here might actually be kind of like the floodgates that kind of open things up so i am so excited for whatever that the next season and the next update is going to be because it seems like the repercussions are truly going to be like they're, they're, they're gonna be up there brother they are going to be up there so i don't know let me know what y'all think in that comment section down below would absolutely love to hear y'all's thoughts and how you think all this stuff is going uh, to unfold because unfold it will and yay let's take out the roman zombie over there but i don't know man like it's just like i i still like it, it's just like i did like that's hot dude that armored bus i don't know i'm i'm convinced we're gonna see freaking the armored bus return right and i'm just gonna go and slice and dice you a little bit and then hit you with the slow-mo and try to take you down from a distance but i am like convinced that bus is gonna return that is not the last we've heard of them and like it's still so interesting to me dude the, fa the fact that just genesis seems to be so big-brained about things man 
I feel like Genesis might be the most important faction out of those three moving forward. Like the bikers and the raiders, we can get up to some nonsense with them. And also, I don't know, the whole idea of like official formal factions being introduced was a really cool concept of the season two. And I really hope that they kind of like unfold and we continue seeing these factions in the future. And hopefully, dude, I'd love to see something kind of like, I don't know if you guys ever played like Fallout, you know, like uh, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4. This idea of like being able to pick a faction work with them and uh, like you know unlock like you know unlock subsequent quests with each faction unlock specific special loot from each faction go to special locations for each factions like i would love to have this idea of factions further evolve like to to more than just what we've seen today and i think the groundwork has been laid for that with kind of like the formal introduction of factions in the past they've just been kind of like known as groups you know like you saw a group of bikers you saw a group of this yo where the heck are the cult the, the what the heck they're gone? Interesting. Evidence found. What evidence did I find? Oh, probably just the voodoo doll that was taunting that dude or whatever. So after the sermon they did last time, that are the cultists gone too? Hmm. This season just gets weirder and weirder with some of these things. Oh, it's locked. I can't get the zip gun again, the doomsday weapon. Uh huh. That's also crazy, man, because that might, like, if you think about it, this idea of, like, a special device that literally draws in zombies. If you think about it, that's also the single most high-tech thing that we have seen. And not just that, also another thing to think about. I just kind of realized this, right? Another thing to think about is that, like, official manual and, like, literally a passport and, like, travel logs that they had. It seems like whoever sent this bus is a very sophisticated organization. Which again, is why I'm thinking, man, Bunker Charlie, government slash military is behind it because we don't have a government or military faction. We do have the Genesis, but they're kind of like researchers slash like a private, like paramilitary scientist organization. I'm telling you, like, I, I, I don't know, man. I'm, I am convinced this is either the government or the military behind this. All right, my tinfoil hat is going on, right? I don't know. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Do you guys think it's the military? Do you guys think it's the government? Do you guys think it might be even like something entirely else? Could Genesis be behind it all? Well, no, it can't be Genesis. Because like, they were going out like, I don't know. No, I don't think it can be Genesis. Because they're one of the three factions. They're going after the bus. They seem to understand the importance of it, but why would they send the bus here just to send it back to New Eden? That doesn't make sense. And you might be like, oh, Starb, what about the cultists? You know, the cultists were recruited in that type of stuff. Yeah, they were kind of like recruited, you know, or like some of them, like Joseph and Mad Mads were recruited to kind of carry on the mission of delivering it. But like, I don't know, they, they just might've been like one-time recruits and uh, dang, brother, it is officially gone. They actually took it and they're off to, to the races. They're gone. Well, hot dog. Oh, I can't go back into the basement either. Well, that's annoying. Kind of wanted to like read those logs again to show what I was talking about, but no. I don't know, dude. Some of those like notes and evidence just seem like very official documents. Like the way that like that passport or like travel log was documented. That seems like something a sophisticated organization or institution would have, which makes me think like military slash governments involved. So last day on earth for the first time in a long time. Looks like it may be taking an interesting turn, and that interesting turn looks to be heading, again, so many signs pointing towards New Eden slash Bunker Charlie being the same thing. Because New Eden, you know, an Eden is like a safe area. Bunker Charlie's got that green icon above it that indicates being safe. We had a boat on the southern shores that someone tried to escape to New Eden to. Where would the southern shores likely go to? Bunker Charlie! Like, there's so many different signs leading to it. The travel logs indicating military slash government. Bunker Charlie seems like a military type of installation. I think we might finally run into, like, an official military faction in the near future. And I am here for it. I am excited for it. And hopefully y'all are as well. But with that to know with that done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is going to go ahead and start bringing an end to this episode of Last Day on Earth. When we return, hopefully, we will have even more progress on New Eden uh, coming y'all's way. Don't forget to pop over to the stream where we will be knocking out one of these Bunker Bravo runs that y'all definitely do want to see. Because again, this is the primest of times to be knocking out a uh, Bunker Bravo and all that jazz. And hopefully, more new content coming our way soon that I cannot wait to dive into and show off for you lads and lassies. Absolutely ace. Make sure to subscribe and 
hit that notification bell. But with that to know that done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is going to go ahead and start bringing an end to this episode of Last Day on Earth. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.